Hello, this is Mr. Monkey Pog once again with a new series. Today we've got a how-to series, and today we're building sliding doors. We're back in Minecraft. So today we're going to have a single player game, we're going to create a new world, and we're going to call it how-to. We're going to have this world in creative, and we're going to have super flat, generate structures off, and everything else we can keep the way it is. Create new world. So we'll be bu building sliding doors in super flat with nothing else around. We don't have to worry about any like terrain that's getting in our way. So what we're going to need is any block that you're going to build your doors out of. I'm going to choose iron today. We're going to need a sticky piston some sticky pistons, some redstone, some redstone torches, and a pressure plate. I forgot to get the pressure plate, but that comes in right in the end. So, you're going to build an arch. It doesn't matter if it's one block wide or two blocks wide, it works either way. So, you're going to put the pistons facing inside on both sides. You're going to fill that in with iron. Oh, just have to do a bit of research. Okay, I'm back. So, we're still building our sliding doors. You're going to break the blocks next to the pistons. And you're going to put in redstone torches. See how it's not making the pistons push? But, if you put a block on top, it'll make the pistons push. So, that's what you're going to do. Then you're going to put a block of redstone on top of either iron block and it'll make both pistons push in. Just a bit more research, sorry. Okay, I am back. Now, you are going to dig a trench around your sliding doors. Oh, no, I've done it wrong. Oops, sorry. Don't do it like that. Do it one block out. Go one block out. And then have it going in like that. These sliding doors are really easy to make and I would recommend you build them in your world. Very easy to make and very handy. No more pulling levers to open doors. Just a small compact sliding door that you just walk through. The only downside to it is that mobs can come in to your house if you put sliding doors on it. Ooh, why is there a zombie in the living room? It'll be different on the other side. You can do it right up against the iron because it is one block out. You can fill that in with the second trench in with redstone. There we go. That is perfect. That's perfect. Then you can place pressure plates on either side. You're going to fill that in with whatever block you're using. And then you're going to do the same on the other side and put pressure plates there. Warning, do not stand in the middle and let do not stand in the middle and let the doors crush you. That is bad. Then you're going to fill the whole thing in with iron and I'm just going to skip this because it takes a long time. I am done. These are the completed sliding doors. I hope I gave you an easy step by step follow up. You're going to patch that up with grass so you can't see it. So that it just blends in with the landscape. It's a nice compact sliding doors. I hope I gave you a good explanation. Thank you. Bye.